Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today's top news is about technology. UK watchdog, Competition and Markets Authority, CMA, wants to examine what is the relationship between OpenAI and Microsoft. Microsoft has clearly mentioned that Microsoft and OpenAI will be separate companies and Microsoft has a non-voting observer on the micro OpenAI board. But still, the companies should be separate. And OpenAI also has mentioned that Microsoft Partnership with Microsoft helps them in their research and bringing more features to OpenAI quickly and reaching more in the market. Let's see as we go on in the coming days what CMA has, is examining and what they're going to reveal about the partnership and whether there is any antitrust or competition laws coming into play. The second important news is also about technology. Meta, the parent company of Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram. They have mentioned that Facebook and Messenger also will be end-to-end -end encrypted. 2021, Instagram was end-to-end -end encrypted. WhatsApp has been encrypted for uh, many years now. Uh, on top of that, now Facebook and Messenger will be end-to-end -end encrypted. Now on to world news or current affairs. Today's news is mainly focused on South America as there is a lot happening in the countries in South America. The first news is about Argentina. Argentina elections are over and they have elected a far-right liberal president, Xavier Mele. He is a TV actor turned politician and uh, he has defeated the current prime minister who is standing for president, Sergio Massa. And he has earned 55 percentage of votes. Xavier Mele has earned 55 percentage of votes. And uh, he has mentioned that he will tackle inflation and, and that is his first priority. Let's see in the upcoming days how he is going to tackle inflation and what all news is going to happen about Argentina. Next news is about Venezuela. Venezuela recently mentioned that they'll be going ahead with annexation of the oil-rich Isakibo region. Isakibo region uh, forms two-thirds of Guyana and uh, Venezuela wants to annex this one. And Venezuela and Guyana, they're going to discuss in a meeting that's going to happen on December 14th about this one. The current border was drawn in 1899 by international arbitrators. But now Venezuela claims that it is part of its history. This region, Esequibo region, which is oil rich, is part of its history and wants to annex that as part of Venezuela. So the leaders are meeting in St. Vincent and Grenadines, which is a West Indies country. And they'll be discussing on these disputes and ongoing disputes and border and all so on. So we'll keep you posted in the upcoming days of what is happening in Venezuela and Guyana. Next up, we have sports news. So today's news is all going to be about cricket. First update is that West Indies defeated England in the three match ODI series. And the series was already equal. West Indies won the first match, England won the second match. The third match happened in Barbados, and West Indies defeated England and thereby they won the series as well. So the match was rain marred. So, and uh, West Indies were set 207 runs to win in 40 overs. But again, rain came and the match was further reduced to 188 in 34 overs. West Indies were initially struggling and they lost a lot of wickets between. Uh, the 99 and 130 and they were 155 for 6 and they required 33 runs in 4 overs because the English winners tightly restricted the West Indies batsman and then in 1 over Romario Shepard the West Indies batsman scored 24 runs and he completely eased the pressure and he won the match in the next over itself so West Indies win their first series in Caribbean since 1990 against England the second news is about Big Bash League Cricket is always a funny game, but now it is, it is it's another strange incident happened. And after 558 matches in Big Bash League, it was the first time ever a match was called off because pitch was found to be dangerous for playing. So the match was happening between Melbourne Renegades and Perth Scorchers, and the match was called off because the pitch was having variation in bounds and it was bouncing very dangerously. Okay, now on to the important and interesting news section, which is what happened on this day. I'm going to cover both December 9th and December 10th. December 9th, 1979. 10 years after smallpox vaccine was administered, smallpox was eradicated from the world. Who declared that the world is smallpox free on December 9, 1979? The next one is that on December 9, 1968, the mother of all demos happened. So, Augmentation and Research Center, ARC, so they developed the modern system of computing. So, in 1968, they demoed advanced uh, input output, then they de demoed the first mouse, then hyperlinks. Uh, windows based graphics and distributed computing and file handling and on many other things so this was called the mother of demos because previously computer was used only for uh, calculation and number crunching and so on but this was the first time 
and then they showed the potential of communication interaction of computer with humans so and this demo on the basis of xerox park and for the this demo on the basis of the mac and windows which is using right now all the technologies which was demoed in the mother of all demos is relevant and it's used even right now now on to december 10 December 10, 1768, the first Encyclopedia Britannica was published in Edinburgh. It was a very important publication and as you all know, Encyclopedia is still relevant today. And it was first published in 1768. Now, in 1815, Lady Ada Lovelace, the British mathematician, or otherwise known as the first programmer in the world, was born. In 1901, the first Nobel Prizes were given on the fifth death anniversary of Alfred Nobel. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Next Few News. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. We'll be publishing multiple videos shortly, and we don't want you to miss out on latest news and updates from around the world. Stay in, stay engaged, and until the next video, have a great day. Take care and bye bye.